Hi, and welcome everybody. How exciting um, to share today as we celebrate our eighth quantum soul guidance practitioner, Louise Platt. My name is Ursula and I'm with Julia Balaz and Louise. Welcome ladies. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. It's stunning how, Julia, you launched this course on quantum soul guidance, how to read galactic astrology. You just launched in February of this year, 2022. And already um, we're getting our eighth practitioner who's been certified. There's so much information and it's, it's, it's manageable. It's all online, but to have our eighth certified practitioner uh, to celebrate today. This is remarkable. How do you feel about that, Julia? I'm really glad and I can't wait for more of them to come along because I'm seeing that all those that are listed, they are getting busy, that there's really such a high demand for people really want to see and understand where they come from, why they're here, what star system they're connected to. So I just feel like more please <laughs> to be certified so that we can accommodate all this demand for for information so i'm really glad very happy to see any new submission for certification super well done Louise. thank you and you know this whole global conversation thanks to the james webb telescope sharing images now beautiful gorgeous images of galaxies uh that we have never seen before and so the fixed stars and stars that one we've been aware of but then there's more we haven't seen so if the whole world goes galactic it's so mm -hmm. exciting to be able to meet the need that seems to be arising in the collective of who am i and where am i from from a quantum soul perspective so um you're right julia i know that you are now not offering one-on-one -on -one, um um, sessions. So really teaching others how to meet the demand um, and you continuing to share and, and, and provide this broader vision. It's, it's wonderful to be here in such a short time. I mean, it's the conversation and the need is growing. So thank you, Louise, for making it through. <laughs> Okay, so we have some questions um, to ask a little bit about your past, your present and your future. And why don't we go ahead and start. Tell us if you wouldn't mind about your journey, your personal journey, where have you been before the whole galactic astrology came on the scene for you? Yeah, sure. Um, I think when I think back, um, you know, as a, as a child, I always felt that there was more to you know life than what you could see and um it was a very different belief system from my family but i felt that i'd been had other lives before i always assumed they'd been on earth i didn't even think you know there were alternatives but um you know i, I was interested in ghost stories and um yeah i i guess i was yeah i just was interested in finding out more and then I would say really in my late 20s, I was working in London in a corporate world, very toxic environment, um, lots of stress, lots of bullying, lots of really, you know, what I perceived to be bad behaviour. And I didn't realise at the time, but I was as, as an empath, I was absorbing all that negativity and quite possibly clearing it as well. But I didn't realise that I didn't know about grounding, I didn't know about protection. So um inevitably I got ill and my body just said no so I had to have a few weeks signed off with stress but um I thought at the time I was having a bit of a breakdown because I was having panic attacks and you know really strange symptoms but what happened was I um I went to the College of Psychic Studies in London and I had a reading there and then I signed up for a workshop and then I signed up for a course um and before I knew it, I was basically there every week, um, sort of sitting with other, you know, people that were interested in energy and um, spiritual sort of um, information. And I basically got a grounding there. You know, I learned all about um, how to manage my energy, how to protect myself, how to clear energy. I was learning about um, all the different sort of options like um, we did a bit of astrology, a bit of numerology, learned about the chakra system, learned about oils, sound, 
colours, you know, it was like the whole the whole thing. And so that was a really good sort of foundation for me. Um, and that sort of went on for a few years. I kept doing lots of different courses and lots of workshops. And um, I kind of felt like I just wanted to know more and more, but I was and I was loving it all, but I never really found where I could sort of sort of land if you like I was like flying around you know dipping in and out and trying all this stuff that was like this is great but this isn't where I want to sort of settle and sort of um yeah land I guess would be the right expression um so but I did feel that I had a mission and it was a really strong like um I remember thinking it's a really strange word to use but that's what it was I've got a mission and I need to fulfill it but I didn't know what it what that mission was so it was quite a strange sort of position to be in um and I kept trying different jobs I, I thought if I go and work there that that will be it I'll have fulfilled my purpose and it's like nope that's not it you know on to the next thing so there was a lot of searching and trying to find out who I was um, and then in I would say um so at the same time I was carrying on, you know, working in different environments. I got married. I had children still um, in lots of different psychic development groups. And then I had an Akashic reading done when I was in my early 40s. And that kind of was another turning point for me. Um, I because she said I was a starseed and I was a walk in and I um, was a shapeshifter and a time traveler. And I was just like, what I had absolutely no idea what she was talking about um but so once I got over the shock <laughs> and uh, she couldn't at, at the time she couldn't tell me where I'd come from because she said she thought I was hybrid but um anyway I sort of went away I was like okay I need to find out more about you know what what all this means and as I did I felt a lot of things started to fall into place for me because I was like okay that explains why you know, I don't feel like I've never really felt I knew where home was and where I, you know, sort of fitted in and I couldn't understand why people behave the way they do sometimes. And it really answered a lot of questions for me. And then it, sort of shortly after that, I discovered Dolores Cannon. And um, I don't well, I know a lot of viewers will have read her books. I literally I was reading her books, feeling like she'd written them for me. I was like literally these books in my hand and I could feel like the energy coming off them and it was like okay yeah 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 I understand that's that's what's happening to me this is what you know and it was just like so many answers and downloads and sort of gradually things were starting to sort of fall into place and um I'd say you know fast forward another few years um at the beginning of 2020 I uh I had a really strong um, nudge to leave the job that I was doing. By that point, I was actually in a school working with them, sort of, um, send children. But I was had a really strong nudge that I had to leave. So and I was like, I'm not sure what's next, but you know, let's um, let's see. And needless to say, you know, in March everything changed that year for everybody. But I signed up for an astrology course and had a real. Um, I did I did studied every day and then I did another course and I was getting a lot more answers through looking at my birth chart as well so I thought this is something that I'm really really interested in but um what's interesting is although I loved it um and I started doing um charts for my friends and then I started doing some paid readings as well I kept thinking I need a niche you know I need I want to specialize in something and and I was like what is it what is it and I wasn't it wasn't really taking off the way I thought it would do and I was like okay there's a block here what is it what is it and then at the beginning of May um my friend sent me a link to your interview with Elena and I, I think about I can't even remember what you know the interview was about but I went onto your website and looked at it and thought oh that's quite interesting and I've got the usual oh no you can't do that Louise you know it'll just be another course and you know it's it's just <laughs> you're spending more money and um you know it's it'll, it'll come to nothing it was the kind of internal but I was like but there was also a real sort of strong no this is really quite you know exciting so I signed up and um I think I completed it in six and a half weeks or something ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> which you know at the time I was like gosh this is happening really quickly but I just felt that everything I'd done over the last 25 years was kind of leading me 
to this because I knew how to douse, I knew how to access the Akashic records, you know, I knew how to clear energy and I, I had all my astrology foundation and all the numerology. So it just felt like so perfectly aligned. Um, and yeah, and also, you know, even putting my readings in to be certified, I was like, oh, are you sure? You know, <laughs> I can't. And there was like, no, come on, you're doing it. I feel like I've been literally, there's been a higher force literally leading me along here. So it's been, yeah, it's been amazing, really. Wow. I love this story. This is incredible. And such an example of, yes, those that are flying through the course in six weeks, uh, I believe five and a half is our fastest, but six weeks are the ones that are flying through it. Mm. Each one of them had lifelong preparation, a couple of decades of, you know, being in that type of information. So then we have those that are complete newbies and they really need to take their time. So I just want to highlight that for them to not feel under yeah. pressure. You just have no idea how much study went into prior. Uh, mm. so. It's years, years, <laughs> literally years, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Louise, um, just to shout out that you're calling um, or you're landing into this meeting from around the London area in Bedfordshire. So it's so exciting that Julia sets this beacon of her website out into the world with the calculator and we're finding her from around the world. I'm calling in from California, Julia's in Ireland and Louise, you're in the UK. Yeah. So I, I, I just got to echo what Julia said too. Like you, I've gone from one amazing program, you know, a wide dashboard of various modalities. Um, but I think I saw that you were not just astrology, but energy work and even tarot. So this is kind yeah, of an yeah. interesting background. And you mentioned numerology. So this, all of it seems to be connected with this idea of metaphysical light language. Yeah, yeah, for reason. sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because I've done Reiki as well. And I've done um, access consciousness. Like I said, I've done lots of different sort of modalities and, and experienced lots of treatments as well. I've literally, well, I feel like I've tried everything that's come along. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, I would, I use um, cards as well. And, um, you know, I'm able to clear energy as well. So it's all, it all feels like it's coming together really beautifully with this. Now it makes sense to me why your reports were such a high level like I was really impressed I didn't know you had all this history before you but you could mm. tell when I saw the level of quality of information the precision the clarity how it all makes sense and how practical as well it was and just spot on including the astrology I, I was just so impressed like you just <laughs> raised the bar a little bit more uh, so it, it's clearly uh, the result of your long preparation to get here mm. there is that paradigm of when the seeker stops seeking and you find a home and i think that's what it seems like it might have felt like for you when you um, a friend told you about julia uh, it's did i get that right like a, it took a friend to say hey you should hear this yeah yeah <laughs> and then you so, found your yeah. right yeah yeah sure i kind of feel like i can um i feel like almost like a sense of peace like you know and relief because i've just spent so long you know trying to work out who i was why am i here because i did feel i was here for you know it, it was important in some way but then you think well you know is that where's that coming from but um when i look at my chart and where i've been and you know it, everything is just really making sense and yeah, I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> I know. And it's so hard when like family members or a loved one says, Wait, when are you going to stop looking for who you are? Like, don't you know who you are by now? Yeah. I mean or, or stop trying to heal yourself. That was the other thing I got. And I was like, I don't actually think I'm trying to heal myself. I'm just searching for, for who I am because obviously I came in and I forgot. So yeah. it has, it's taken a while, but I'll be 50 next year. And I kind of think, oh, yes, <laughs> I could spend the next. Uh, yeah, I don't need to search so much now. I can hopefully help other people. So 
And I love that the three of us came from court. All three of us have come from corporate at some point. Mm -hmm. And it's this idea of, can we actually work from home now and do what we love? And so, as you know, Julia's practitioner's course has uh, begins with how to set up a business. And if you have any thoughts or comments um, based on your experience of going through that part of her course, I know others might really enjoy hearing that. Um, yeah, well, just first of all, to say that the course exceeded my expectations at all levels, and I couldn't believe how much content there is and how much guidance and how you know, Julia keeps adding to it as well. You know, if there's something that comes up that is, you know, hasn't been covered, it gets added in, which is amazing. Um, but I think, yeah, I mean, I have had my own, I did run my own business um, for a few years after I had my first child, I did a children's arts and crafts franchise. So I had a lot of um, kind of, you know, marketing input and how to set things up. So I kind of, again, I feel like that was a real, blessing as well because I've done it before so it wasn't as daunting um but yeah I mean it's all there in the course about you know how to market yourself I love the idea of the universal marketing team and you know being able to switch that on and off which um I think once you get your head around how to manifest you know it's like it just makes perfect sense um and then all the information about how to charge and you know what to put on your website and yeah it's uh it is very comprehensive, so and very useful for sure. Thank you so much for that uh, praise. Really appreciate it. I'm curious, what was it like for you to see your galactic alignments? Because when you got that psychic reading uh, a while back with all yeah. that language jargon, like did you get some answers looking at your own galactic astrology chart? I, I did, yeah. I mean, I ne- I won't lie. When I first printed off the chart and looked at it, I was just like, <laughs> I'm never going to understand any of this. And it was like, it's like learning a new language because the majority of the star systems I'd never heard of. You know, I knew Orion and Sirius, you know, and the main ones, but there were so many on there that were just like, what even is that? Um, but um, yeah, I think, you know, and again, I would say for anyone new looking at it, yes, it, it is daunting and it is a new language, but I just so I would stop and I go away and I come back the next day. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm determined I'm going to work this out. And I'd watch the video again about how to sort of, you know, read it and decipher it. And so gradually it all did start to fall into place. And I'm still every time I look at it, I find something new as well. It's like with the birth chart, you know, I don't think you can ever sort of finish reading in astrology there's always something more to learn and another layer and another star so um yeah personally uh, I find it exciting I I love that and same for me I still discover galactic pieces of puzzle in my chart that I haven't seen before I'm looking at it now for several years so yeah astrology uh, it takes even lifetimes but it's um it's you always receive what you can take at this time so it just Mm. kind of grows with you I think that's an important point to underscore for anyone listening that, you know, this is really a living light language. It's, there's an aliveness in the course. Um, It is not static. It's not just go read and see you later until you, you know, are certified. There really is an aliveness and it's built not only in the information, um, but it's also in the class structure. So, you know, having, having a support group or weekly kind of chats with others around the world. So there is this aliveness because, you know, I've studied a lot of different modalities too, Louise, and it's usually very much, okay, this is how it is next book. And then, but there is something about how Julia does bring things forward. And I think it will surprise people that she is sharing how to set yourself up in business if you've never done it before. And that's different. It's not just content. It's really, how do we meet the need of the collective um, who want to know their star origins? or their soul connections so that said I was just gonna say um, you know if you if you do get stuck you know there's um the Facebook group you know you can ask questions and then you've got the benefit of other people that are already certified can give their experience and their advice as well so you know there's a lot of sort of collective support there from everybody as well which has been really invaluable so you're not on your own at any point yeah 
Yeah. Well, then I would love to ask you too, do you have a particularly favorite um, fixed star that's in your natal chart? Um, well, I was going to say, um, before I sort of talk about fixed stars, I would say yeah. I resonate really strongly with the Blu-ray, mm. um, which I've been sort of researching about. I'd heard about Blu-ray before, um, but I've been learning about that. And uh, I kind of, that, it feels like, I, connecting with that energy has been um, really um, enlightening for me because I just felt I didn't really know where I came from. And sort of understanding that the blue rays don't actually come from anywhere in particular. You know, it's like they're almost source. It was like, okay, so that answers that question. And I was like, you know, that was again another sense of relief. But I really resonate with them. Um, you know, the the fact that they are here to harmonize and transmute energy and um, sort of clear negativity and also the fact that they um they tend to hide their gifts and sort of stay in the background whereas as opposed to the indigos that are more sort of out there and you know kind of here to fight the cause I'm very much sort of hang back and you know stay hidden and I don't want to sort of talk to people about you know what I do what I can do um obviously I'm being activated so it's time for that to change um but yeah and the sensitivity as well that's you know that's really strong I think understanding that maybe that's you know who I am has really helped um but I think um I know as you looked at my chart and you picked up that I was a <laughs> Hyadian um soul um which again you know that that resonates really strongly and interestingly I would say the white lion sort of race from that star system is um very much uh, you know a strong connection for me and I, I was gonna say when I was a child sort of about six seven years old I always used to say just going back to the past life thing I used to think I've been a, I've have definitely had past lives before I'm sure I've been a cat because I used to see all these cats eyes all looking at me all over my bedroom wall so they you know and um I obviously didn't entertain the thought that it wasn't actually a cat, it was possibly a, a white lion. But when I sort of read about that and um, researched it, I was like, oh gosh, you know, that really just, yeah, that's amazing. It makes sense. So I thought it was nice to think that they were sort of watching over me and, you know, that they, you know, that there was that link there. Um, and then Arcturus as well. Um, I've been told in the Akashic reading that I was um, very involved in helping souls sort of who leave the earth, you know, when they transition. And I was reading that the Arcturians are very involved in that sort of part of assisting humanity. So, um, yeah, and also the light language and, and you know, the real sort of drive to be of service. Um, but I have to say, every star that is in my chart that I've looked at, I just thought, yeah, I can, uh, you know, I can resonate with that. And, you know, that fits part of me because I I do feel like I've been to a lot of places and yeah, tra quite, quite well traveled. So not been here many times, that's for sure. Mm. That's what I call yeah. multi-galactics, multi yeah. seed. Yeah, beautiful. So it's remarkable that anyone listening might hear the word Blu-ray, um, Arcturian energy, um, a fixed star Hyades or Hades. Mm -hmm. So it's it's this is a um, a language of metaphor and energy, and so it's just learning the narratives that surround these particular points in a chart. And I always like to say it's putting the stars back into astrology. So you have the Western and you have Vedic and you have various systems, but to put the fixed stars in as Julia does, and then to even go into a quantum level where you're now talking blue ray, you know, so it's, it's, I just wanted to calm anyone who might be listening down, who's not even familiar with quantum soul guidance, that this is a new language. And Louise is talking to us at a, a very advanced level, I would <laughs> say. So not to make anyone afraid, but it's more than just, where are you from? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> For sure. It's really good. Okay. Will we share about the website where people can find Louise? Yes. So Louise, um, Julia, you brilliantly list now eight um, certified quantum soul guidance practitioners on your site, galacticastrochart.com. And we'll put that 
down in the description, but you can read all about Louise, first of all, on the calculator site, and then directly to Louise at Spiral Bright, right? And so Louise, why don't you shout out the full name? Cause I think it's a .co UK or? Yeah, it's a spiralbright.co.uk. So I've got all the information about the different readings that I offer on that site. So hopefully. And uh, I'm curious, do you do the written reports, audio, video? How, what, what are you at at the moment? I know okay, that at the, moment, <laughs> at the moment, I am doing written reports, um, which, um, yeah, I kind yeah. of, I feel possibly in the future, I may change that, but for now, um, yeah, they are written, supplied as a PDF, so. Perfect. And I have to say they are so beautiful visually, but just the information was exceptional. I really, really loved um, your style. Beautiful. Is there anything in particular that you feel called to bring to your sessions? I always encourage our practitioners to make it their own, bring something unique to it. Is there anything yet that you're starting to sense is your thing or is it too early? Okay. Yeah, um, well, I'm, I'm finding that I'm very, um, very much focused on the astrology and reading sort of the strengths and the talents and the life purpose from the birth chart and then translating, you know, the galactic, the fixed stars and bringing that in as well. And I think for me, because I've found so much so many answers through the astrology you know about why am I here and you know um what are my talents and you know where where does my soul want me to really focus on this lifetime I I feel I just I want to help other people with that so you know because I think I can't be the only one who spent a long time go oh I'm here for a reason but I don't know what that is so I'm hoping that through my um the reports that I do for the people that I can really help with that and uh, yeah give them some answers and uh, yeah and, and hopefully sort of help them just move you know forward on to the next the next stage that's brilliant I love hearing that and that's what uh, what what stood out for me when I was reading your reports I have to say just I found it so help, practically helpful and like mm. oh God, this person will have just such clarity from seeing this about what to focus on so yeah super well done I love it so excited yeah. You know, it was fun to read the testimonials from people who have already received your reports that that made my heart just like, like, oh, wow, this is a heart mission. Yeah, yeah, it is. I've always felt like um, I do. I'm here to serve and I want to help people. Like I say, I just could never quite pinpoint, you know, how I was going to do that. Um, but yeah, I really feel that, you know, this can really help help people just kind of discover who they are because I think once you know who you are you know and you can stop stop searching and you know settle into that and actually own it as well you know and step into yourself um so that's yeah that's very empowering mm, invaluable mm. and then lastly as we wrap up um is there a specific message, Louise, that you'd like to share with our classmates in the Quantum Soul Guidance Program? Maybe a message to someone who's just started and, and going, wow, this is, <laughs> this is a lot. Is, is there a message that you would offer that new newcomer? Um, yeah, I would say, um, you know, there is a lot and everyone is coming at this from a different sort of a different point you know a different level of experience a different um I don't, you know different background and i think for me um i i did fall into the trap quite a few times of comparing myself to other people you know and their level of knowledge and their gifts and their abilities um so what i felt what, what i heard very clearly um when i was sort of thinking oh you know am i ready to submit my case studies you know is this um i just heard very clearly that you know you mustn't compare yourself to anyone else because actually what you've got and this is like a message to everybody um what you've got is unique and there are people out there who are 100 percent looking for what it is that you've got to offer and it won't be the same as you know another practitioner necessarily but um 
you know, it is um, people are going to be drawn to you for, for what you can share with them. So don't don't compare and don't put yourself down. And, you know, if you are feeling overwhelmed, you know, there's no rush. Just take it steady and, you know, find your own way and you will find your own style and your own and your own way of doing things. So, yeah, that's <laughs> that's very helpful. Beautifully said and so important. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, well, in closing, I would just say to anyone listening in the future that if you're at all interested in quantum soul guidance, um, to really check out um, Louise Platt and the other um, practitioners on galacticastrochart.com. And on that same site, you'll see some of the online classes that Julia offers. It's not all about being a practitioner. You can learn galactic astrology, um, how to connect with your higher self. And Julia, what's the other one? Um, yeah, so the first one was higher self connection. That's when I was still doing QHHD sessions and the most commonly asked question was, how do I know what's the difference between my ego talking and my higher self guidance coming through? So this one uh, seemed to be very helpful in that. Then we have life purpose astrology that does not include galactic aspect, fixed stars at all. Just looking at the basic astrology in terms of what to what challenges we deal with life, how to overcome them and what to focus on to feel aligned and fulfilled. And then the Galactic Astrology 101 for the beginners, beginners, if you just want to read your own chart, and then the advanced one for practitioners. So four courses. Wonderful. Well, Louise, you made it through and we just celebrate and we thank you for sharing your story because I had no idea your journey is, wouldn't you agree, Julia? It's pretty amazing for her to be able to now land and instead of searching like emanate and share, because I think you're going to attract some people who are very much perhaps in a similar kind of path as you had have been. Mm. Can yeah, I ask, that is my hope. Yeah. <laughs> can I ask you? You have some transits, right? Right now, um, activating kind of your midheaven, your mission, your career, your purpose. Yes. Yeah. I think the Sun and Mercury are passing through my tenth house, and on the day that I submitted my case studies, it was the new moon exactly seven degrees of Cancer, which is my natal moon. Um, and I know I've got Sirius A in my nodes mm -hmm. as well. So, yeah, it's um, yeah, it's quite remarkable actually how it's definitely divinely uh, orchestrated. And yes, yeah. so I'm on purpose bringing this up because there is divine timing for everyone. You know, there will come time when you will just have to kind of go through this gate and uh, start shining your light and helping others just it happens in divine timing for everyone so yeah sure, beautiful, sure. beautiful you're a beautiful example of that <laughs> life is amazing no, thank you for the opportunity it's so nice to find something that feels like a fit you know so when you've been there yeah <laughs> thank you this has been so inspirational we'll see you guys next time Take care. so much love bye